Welcome to introducing more six stickmen to the team. Green Stickman Khan, Green Gem Bonder, Magician Boxer DNA Infused, 17 years old, Stick Hero Number 7, Tertiary Stickman, Dragyach, Glass, Green Magic, Wielder. Being under one occupation is normal, but under multiple occupations at the same time is very unnatural for most humans. Unlike Stickman, there was one who proved that theory thoroughly, becoming both a magician and boxer known as Green. He was born in Ireland to an ancestry sorcerer family, but his birth year is unknown. When Green was at an early age, he enjoyed watching his parents doing these types of magic tricks, and also they throw down in boxing against everyone else in Ireland, in the lightweight classes. His parents were at the top of Ireland, although they lived in an abandoned basement. They spent their time inside learning Dragyach glass which roughly translates to green magic considering this type of magic originated in Ireland by the master sorcerer, and also fist-to-fist -fist combat only using powerfully thrown fists not using up their magic, because it would be considered cheating to themselves, in matches, and also disrespectful honor to the master sorcerer. And if they had any extra time left, they teach their son these great qualities so he's inspired to become them one day. When Green turned 10, they signed him up for boxing lessons and got him to the Boxing for Kids Center. And from there, Green started destroying every single kid there. Tears would ball out of their eyes, and wounds had blood leaking out as if they were begging him to stop. In every match Green participated in, each one has been under 30 seconds, ending with KOS. At this point, even the instructor had no choice but to bring the center's biggest, baddest, strongest bully, just so that he could match up with Green. When they stepped into the ring, Green's had some trouble on his hands. In round one, every time Green struck him, all hits were just feathers to him because he was 430 pounds, making him a future heavyweight class and thus giving him an unfair advantage. And every time the bully struck Green, he punched him hard like he was stoning someone to death. Green tried going on defense from offense, so he doesn't sustain any more damage, but failed and was guard broken 13 times by the bully, also making waste 70% of his stamina. Unfortunately, this already happened a minute into the match, so Green decided to evade the bully's attacks for the next two minutes. And by doing so, he was regaining most of his stamina lost, while also wasting the bullies, and finally timed out round one. Before round two, Green was prepping but sadly heard the children cheering on the bully over him because they knew he's never lost a single match here before by the way, before Green entered, he dominated every match slowly but surely, all with TKO wins. In round two, Green had something going on in his mind that he needed to end this right now because if he were to keep this strategy up for the next few rounds, he would ultimately lose by decision, lacking damage output. So he took some steps, and he would think to push the bully down by charging at him with a straight on lunge? Big mistake. He forgot how heavy the bully is, so the bully stood in place, anticipating it, and by twisting and charging up his punch, stopped the lunge and knocked Green out into next month. He tried to get up before the countdown but felt so much tension, had a concussion, and had terrible wounds and bruises that he couldn't get up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. The bell is ringing, and the bully won by KO to top it off. He even taunted him by saying in Irish, Cat a ta acute seer, a do in chaleo asicha? Ansi a shiel emi acute gobe fool ag troid leet, roint a def hay ad fat a glack ad 99% de mo l a acute r. Cut gan fi on tach thu acute, n a acute tar go broch go dt i acute and a acute it say o r is no acute f i u acute sme o in imar a gate a fat hurt or maris are fed na seven bli an a t a acute rom hain go dt i acute go n a i re a two mar dashlin dom fain. LA acute may forget. Fan, drach LA acute do it. When Green woke up, he saw that the bully left the ring with a smirk, while the kids were walking home, laughing it off at that match today, while Green just sat there, and sat there, and sat there. Until 10 p.m., his parents came to pick him up, and they were very depressed about how he looked. So they bolted back home and used their magic to heal and cleanse him up from the injuries he had, and he's normal again, but still mad and sad at the same time about what happened. So Green explained to his parents what happened when he arrived, fought, lost, and was banned from ever coming back until he matched up with that one bully to his strength. So for that the parents decided to homeschool their son by teaching their magic, to also cheer him up. The next day, the ancestors let their son borrow their books of learning Dragyach glass, and at the age of 15, he was learning some pretty interesting stuff about it. 
he was able to make some green fire or flames come out of all his limbs, but he got reminded to not use it against the bully. So from that point onward, Green dedicated his life to learning the secret power instead of boxing. Tomorrow, there is a contest to see who has the best magic flair in all of Ireland. He thought that by participating in it, he could redeem himself, but when the judging time came, Green scored 0 30, which was the lowest score ever, and came in last place. The crowd didn't like the magic he uses, they probably suspected he was doing dark magic, forbidden magic, supporting some evil culture, or anything like that. In the next two years, the Irish people petitioned to exile Green from their state. It only required 50,000 people to sign, and the current progress is 49,998-50,000. Although parents are the only two left that haven't voted, Green wasn't worried at all. He has some excitement and freedom inside of him that he was finally going to train on his own in peace because he hated the people who would mock him. So he told his parents to exile him, and they had some disappointed faces, and they couldn't be happier. Now on that fateful day, the state finally had hit 50k submissions, and the Sorcerer family was forced to leave their son out in the world alone. Before Green left, the Sorcerer family told him to gather all his belongings and also gave him a leaving gift that they found in one of their green magic books, the Green Gem. After that, he told them his last goodbye and vow to get stronger, floating on a boat, away from the island 15 minutes into the trip, the Green Gem started glowing and Green was surprised by it. Next, it formed a portal as if it wanted to take him somewhere, and so he stepped into it, while the boat is just left out in the ocean. Green got teleported into an enchanted forest in Greenland, which had all the meditation tools, nature, and water supply. For the next couple of months, he lived in peace and practiced his meditation and boxing. His meditation zone includes five things done daily. First, he would always sit in a specific spot in his forest named the Naturistic Heptagon every day to increase his flow senses and body balance. During this meditation, Green allows the entire forest to bond within him, allowing some majestic wires that spew out of the enchanted trees to connect his body, for Green to take in the power but at the same time, he equalizes it back, balancing out the reserve so it stays alive. Second, he sits in the naturistic heptagon provided for him to meditate at and there are seven green flaming candles set around the heptagon to create a barrier around it if the meditation ever got interrupted or ambushed. Third, Green uses this time to reflect on himself, his choices, his past life, and to clear his mind from negative thoughts. Fourth, he was able to float in the air sometimes and mimic the movements and poses, also use Dragioch glass from the Master Sorcerer as his honorary. And finally fifth is actually where Green is practicing his combative skills using fist-to-fist -fist combat and Dragioch glass again. His punches were lightning fast, while his green magic sorcery has boosted and improved a ton thanks to the green gem. With it plus the learned green magic, he may now be able to fly on command, if he has enough power, use it as a pillar projectile or a handheld weapon, adds extra power and effect for punching or kicking, absorb other projectiles to reflect them as his attack or increase his strength, and if he found his challenges to be very difficult, he made himself a special one that's different from other ones, that it's used as a weapon and uses Dragioch glass commandingly from green. After a week of routine, Green flew over to his upcoming magic show, and yes he also tried to make himself famous all over Greenland. To start, he amazed the crowd with his free-flowing movement with his magic a few times. Next, he pulled out his wand and started making a bunch of plants fly out from his head as a small gift to the audience. And then to end it off, he used up almost every last ounce of his power to rearrange all seats the crowd was sitting in. Green gave a bow and was applauded. Now Green had to bolt to his boxing match next, so he told the gem to make a portal back to Ireland. He went inside and from there he crashed an occurring title match between his old bully and someone else. But he wasn't impressed at all to see him returning, so you know what he did? He asked the referee to cancel his current match and asked to match him with Green, stunning the audience. The bully said to Green, Ah, Mar Sindil Rian Essie Acute Gobe Fool 2 RAIS. Shiel me acute go raid to rd radioch aseo, ach ta acute to tagfa rais li hage to illeta, masaya, tad her fate emi acute troid du sheol, but green replied and i acute l emi acute marand kana bh i acute emi acute uiram hun, chail emi acute th u acute agus emi acute neas oaj, ag br u acute mo ego mar sin, ach an uir seo, di altaim go high omlin, and so they decided to throw it down one last time for old sake. The bully looked like he gained lots of pounds up to the obesity rate and looked huge and more powerful than ever, but Green didn't look intimidated, and round one has begun. Ni acute oi bria du chamske amina dragioch to ormza, abu acheli, he reminded Green before starting. The bully charges with a heavy hook, but Green blocks it. 
he counterattacks and manages to push him back a bit. Green goes on offense and does a rapid punch combo and manages to break through the bully's guard twice. But suddenly the bully decides to copy Green's charging attack done to him seven years before, but Green doesn't panic. For his final line of defense, he also copies a move from the bully he also did to him seven years before. Using all of his vengeance might, he threw one, forcefully, out of this world, insane punch that not even the bully can comprehend his weight advantage. He was knocked out into next year. Green won by KO exclamation point. After his win, he got the bully's grand champion title, and the Irish audience started cheering for him. The Green Gem even spoke to him saying that he carried his family legacy throughout his life without complaining, and went through serious discipline to regain all redemption from his early failures, it recommends him to join the Stickman team. Green seemed interested in that so he decided to spend his last moments doing both careers. As a magician, he performed 17 perfect shows, and as a boxer, his win-loss record is 77-18, which gives him a win percentage of 81%. Finally Green steps into the portal and travels around 50 years through time to a website that has a hidden army, three more stickmen are coming, but until they came, the story is to be continued.